Instagram is the main marketing channel for my agency. Over 90% of my clients are from Instagram. So I'm pretty much getting an amazing result with it. Not just for me alone, but also for my one-on-one clients as well. So you need to sit back, pay attention, and do everything I'll be sharing with you today. If you're looking to get clients on Instagram without code DMing people. First, let's clarify some things about attracting clients on Instagram. Number one, you don't need thousands of followers on Instagram to attract clients. This sounds cliche, but it's true. One of my clients, her name is Jen, she has about 600 followers on Instagram right now and she's already turning away clients because she's booked, okay? And where did she get these clients from? A lot of them are from Instagram. Number two, most of the times, if you are struggling to attract clients on Instagram, it's simply because your content game is weak, not because the algorithm hates you. Let's get out of the way. Number three, you don't need to use all of the features on Instagram to attract clients and for the fact that it looks like almost every day or weekly or monthly right now, you will always like, you know, see new features from Instagram and things like that. So it's very, very hard for you to keep up. But the good part is you don't need to use all of the features that they are rolling out or even the features that are already there on Instagram right now to get clients. In fact, the simpler or the smaller features you actually use consistently over and over again, the easier it is to get results because you're actually able to master the small things better to get results for yourself. That being said, there are two categories of clients you need to be aware of if you are looking to attract clients on Instagram or any social media platform for that matter. Category number one is clients that are looking for your product or service. Category number two, clients that are not looking for you at all. So I'm going to be talking about each category and see how we can actually tap into each of them to get and attract clients consistently. So the first category, clients that are looking for your help or offer. The thing is, to get seen by this type of people, you need to actually have an edge above everyone else in your industry. So this simply means when somebody is actually looking for what you do, maybe you, you know the offer you actually provide or you, the product or service you provide, you need to actually be part of the top three or five people that actually pop up first in the search results when somebody is looking for you. To actually nail this, let's talk about the two major ways that people actually look for help on Instagram. Number one is through the search bar and number two, through hashtags. To actually get seen through search, you need to optimize your bio. This simply means you need to actually put in keywords that people are actively looking for in your bio. So let me show you what I mean by this and you know where to actually put these keywords. So let's assume I'm looking for a car wash company to help me wash my car, all right, on Instagram. So what I'll actually do is I'll go to the search button and just type in car wash right here. This is what pretty much every, what everybody does. Okay, so look at the results that actually popped up. There are four results right here, four car wash companies, all right? So, you know, who do you think I'll actually go with first? Or who do you think I'll check out first? It's the first option, okay? The first option, the car wash master's NG. And why do you think this is so? It's simply because if you take a look at the search, okay, this, this search result that we have right here, the first one says car wash masters and cleaning. The second one says VIP mobile car wash. The third one says Care, car care mobile car wash blah 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 and the fourth one actually has car wash in their name in their um in their name but they don't have it in their name um like i mean in their instagram name handle but not in their name so you can actually see that the first option is pretty much the strongest option right here simply because if you take a look at their name their name actually includes car wash car wash masters ng then the first thing that actually pops up in their um this Instagram profile, um, the bio, okay, it's car wash masters and cleaning, all right. And by the way, like you know, this name part of the bio is actually SEO. So you see how these guys pretty much like put in car wash first, and also they include like car wash in their name as well in their handle. I mean, so this is what you need to do as well. So if you are, let's say, um, maybe you sell um, marketing services like social media marketing service, or maybe you are selling. Uh, you know soy candles and things like that so you actually want to go ahead and include find ways to actually include soy candles into your handle and also the first line all right of your name as well the first line of your name on in the instagram bio you go ahead and include soy candles there because this is what people are actually pretty much looking for so the same thing applies for hashtags as well let's say again i need a car wash company in lagos to help me wash my car what I'll actually do is, you know, pop in, let's say, car wash in 
Lagos, which is where I'm based. Okay, car wash in Lagos, right here. So if I click search and then I go to tags, all right, car wash in Lagos. So you can actually see a couple of results that Instagram is actually suggesting to me right now. A couple of content right here. All right. So you know which one would I go for again? I'll pretty much go for this. Maybe this real. Okay. Auto grooming, blah blah blah. NG mobile car wash in Lagos, blah blah blah. I'll pretty much go for this first one first. So this simply means that your content, all right, needs to be filled with keyword hashtags that people are looking for. So you need to constantly ask yourself, okay, my my customers, all right, they are looking, if they are looking for the kind of offer that actually, um, you know, that the kind of help I offer, or the kind of product I actually render or service I render to people. What kind of hashtags will they be looking for to get, for, um, you know, to get my help? So you need to constantly use this in your content. All right, those are the two ways. Number two category of clients is clients that are not looking for you but need you, just that they don't know that they need you yet. You get what I mean? So for this type of client, the way we actually get them from not knowing you to needing you, then ultimately buying from you is through content, through strategy content. That's the reason why your content game needs to be on point. All right. So let's get the solution to that right now. For you to actually make your content game on point, there are three types of content you need to be sharing to convert total strangers to customers on Instagram or any social media platform. Number one is problem revealing content. This is actually content that talks about why a problem persists in your ideal client's lives or business. Okay. An example is this content right here that talks about why no one is interested in what you sell and how to fix it. It highlights deeply the reason why no one is actually buying what they sell. So any client that's actually experiencing, let's say inconsistent, um, you know, sales or no sales at all, this type of, this type of content actually appeals more to them. They are able to actually, like, you know, realize this problem. All right. The second type of content you need to be sharing is solution highlights content. So this is actually content that talks about what your ideal client needs to be doing to actually solve their problem. So an example is this content right here that talks about what customers really buy. It just goes ahead to talk about, you know, the reason why they have like, um, maybe they don't have like people buying what they are selling and what they should be doing instead. That's, second, that's the second type of content. Now, number three type of content is actually call to action type of content or expertise showing type of content. This is actually content that talks about your own expertise, how you can actually like, you know, help your clients. And a typical example of that type of client um, content is actually things like reviews or, um, you know, case studies. Personally for me, the type of content that actually talks about this for me is actually like, you know, this one right here, case studies that talks about how um, to convert a low budget client to high ticket client be about. Okay. So it talks about like, you know, the way I actually did it for someone else like them. So you can actually see how pretty much if you nail these three categories of content all right you can actually take people from not knowing who you are to you know buying what you sell it's that simple okay even for the first category of clients we already talked about which is clients that are already looking for what you sell like your offer your content is what we determine whether or not they buy from you because at the end of the day the typical journey of your ideal clients that are looking for the solution you offer on instagram is that they go to the search bar look for you know type in a keyword that appeals to your industry car wash for example instagram suggests one you know four different accounts to them they click on the first one then when they when they click on the first one it takes them to their profile so when they go when they get to the profile what do they see they see your content all right so you know if your content is not really aligned to them or if it's not something they can actually relate to if it's not something that speaks to you know what they are looking for as well they'll just go to someone else. Um, they'll just go, you know, go to your competitor and work with your competitor instead. So that's the reason why your content game cannot be weak. You can't afford not to be strategic with your content. How does this make sense? I share more in depth um, about this in my personal branding on steroids course, by the way. So if this interests you, click the link under this video. It'll take you to the landing page so you can read more about it. That being said, I hope you found today's content valuable. If so, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for what is coming next week. All right, I'll talk to you soon.